Mafia women, oh, this one, this one will shock you. So before I share this story, share this video, share this video to as many people as you can. And if you are not yet following this page, do well to click on that follow button. Omo fear women, na me talk am. Let me tell you guys what happened to my friend yesterday. So yesterday, my friend went to send some money to his wife back home in Nigeria. So it was around 11 p.m. He went downstairs to the exchange to send the money to his wife. After sending the money on his way back, he met a lady. So this lady stopped him. According to him, she was an elderly lady, at least her late status. So she said that she was stranded, that she has not even eaten since morning. She don't have a place to stay, that she has not even taken her bath. So she was pleading with my friend to accommodate her, at least for, for that night, because it was late. It was around 11 p.m. So um, my friend brought her back home. So when she got back home, he showed her where the bathroom was. She requested for um, a towel. She requested for a towel. So my friend gave her this towel. Showed her where the bathroom was since she said she has not taken her bath since morning. So she should go in and take her bath. So she went in. She stayed there for a while. Then she came out. She did not even take her bath, actually. She came out. Her body was not looking like someone that, that took any bath. So after that, my friend gave her something to eat after she finished eating. So this is why people don't like to help strangers. In this video, you are going to know why people don't like to help strangers at all. People are scared to help strangers. This update, this format where this woman used, bad guy. The format, bad. So when she came out from the bathroom, she was not looking like someone that um, even took her bath. So my friend gave her something to eat. She ate. After eating, then she asked for a place to, to sleep. So my friend had another bed that he was not making use of. So he lended this bed to her. She lay down there. Uh -uh. After like 30 minutes, she stood up from the bed. She knocked at my friend's um, bed or where my friend was supposed to sleep. So she knocked there. So my friend opened. Then she was like, he should come. She was like, come. Then my friend was like, ah, this one, where my visitor, the same man come, waiting they saw, waiting they happen. So he went with her now. Then the next thing, she was now like, you don't want to do. My friend was do, like, do what? <laughs> my friend was like, do what? She said, uh-uh, what do you mean? Are you not matured? You don't want to do. <laughs> then, then he dragged her to the kitchen. He dragged her to the kitchen and was like, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't want to, to make too much noise in the room because a lot of people are already sleeping. So explain better. What do you mean by you don't want to do? Then she was now like, um, having sex now. You don't want to have sex. She said, no, no. I'm married. I have a wife. I don't want to have sex. Then she was now like, she changed her attitude immediately. For a while, you, have, you were pleading that you were stranded. You don't have a place to sleep. You have not eaten. You have not taken your bath. Then someone took you in, gave you shelter, fed you, gave, showed you his bathroom where you take your bath, gave you his towel. Then immediately, she changed the whole atmosphere. atmosphere. She was like, what do you mean? Will you just bring me up here and you won't touch me? Uh -uh. See, Toko, will you just bring me up here and you won't touch me? Don't let me show you my other side. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yesterday was mad. So don't let me show you my other side. Uh -uh. My friend was like surprised, like, still, what is going on? What is going on here? Is this not someone I was trying to, to help? This is someone I was trying to assist. Like, what is going on here? She was now like, don't let me show you my other side. See, if you don't want to pay me, mad, they go. My friend was like, are you? Are you okay? Pay you for what? She was now, she was now like, you cannot just bring me up here and send me out without paying me. Oh. So your plan was actually to set the trap. So what this lady was doing, this is her format. She's not stranded. This is a format. She was just trying to set him up. The moment she gets into his private space, then she tries to seduce him. The moment she, he sleeps with her, then she will bill him. You understand? The moment she sleeps with, um, he sleeps with her, then she will be like, Okay, you have to pay me maybe 30,000 Naira or 50,000 Naira, but it will be in UAE currency, maybe 200 dirham for what we just did. 
Then he'll be like, what? Did you tell me in any way that you're a street girl or you're a hustler? I don't want to use the word P or you're an Olosho. Did you tell me in any way that this is what you do for a living? You said you, you needed an assistant and I tried to assist you and you are trying to switch the whole situation. So she was not trying to make a scene out of the whole thing. Like, you know, if you just carry me, keep me here, you know, touch me, you go pay me. No, let me show you my other side. Do you go pay me? My friend was now like, um, this is bad. Like, the situation is looking bad. You know, when a woman, when a woman is shouting at a man, like, for an example, she's shouting that you, you touched her without her permission. And if people should bump in, they will always believe the woman. They will believe the woman. I don't know why. They will believe the woman and don't even want to listen to the man. And at that point, she was tying his towel. You know, when she came first, she asked for the towel. She said she, she needed to take her bath because she has not um, been in the bathroom the whole day. So she needed to take her bath. So he gave her his towel. So she was tying his towel. So for an example, if she decided to, to frame him, it looks, um, how should I put it? People will believe her because, one, guy, what is your towel doing in her body? If you claim you didn't touch this lady, what is your towel doing in her body? How do you explain? You see why people don't like to help? So I'm, I'm happy because the guy was very smart. The guy was very smart. So he was now like, okay, okay, you don't need to shout in here. So um, how much is your money? She said, give me 150 draham. He said, okay, no problem. Let me get my wallet. So he went in, he took his wallet and he said, okay, let's go down. Because um, you know the way Dubai building is now, tower, 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 tower. So he stays um, in the fifth floor. He said, okay, let's go down. So the girl foolishly and ignorantly went down with him. So the moment they left the building, they went downstairs. Reaching downstairs, my friend changed jam for him. <laughs> so the moment they reached downstairs, he was not like, are you, are you mad or so? Are you mad or something? <laughs> because she has left his private space and he doesn't want it to look like, oh, this guy is cheating on his wife or something like that. So he has shifted her from his private space. So they went outside the building and he changed jam for him where, where he gave her water, 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 water. At the end of the day, she was now like, I will show you, I will show you. Show me what? Show me what? You know, few people even gathered outside and they were like, guy, what's up, what's up? He was not explaining to them. This person who I want help her, she came to me. She said she was stranded. She said she was stranded. She, she has not taken a bath that day. She had nothing to eat for the whole day. So I had a free space because um, he was running a business with his room. He was renting some spaces out in his room and a particular space was not yet taken. So he had a free space and someone was coming to him asking for shelter and he had a free space that is not yet occupied. So he decided to help her with that free space for just the night. At the end of the day, she tried to switch the situation. That was a trap, actually. She wasn't stranded. This was a trap. She just wanted to go in, then try to seduce him. If he should sleep with her, then she would come up with a billion. So at the end of the day, if he should have slept with her, she would have come up with like, okay, you have to pay me 200 rams. Then my friend would be like, what? Did you, in the first place, tell me that this is what you do for a living? You did not tell me all this. Then she would be like, you not sleep with me. You understand that kind of situation. Didn't you sleep with me? You slept with me, pay me. You see? But she did not come this way. She did not come openly telling the guy that, okay, this is what I want. But God saved the guy that, you see, being faithful and truthful is good because if he should have fell into this trap, the situation would have been bad. It would have been so bad. Thank God that he did not touch her. He did not sleep with her. He was only trying to help her. Even when she came knocking on his door to offer him sex, he was not interested. He only tried to help her. And at the end of the day, she tried to switch the situation to something that I was so bad. Man, you see why people don't like helping. People don't like helping because of such situations. People don't like helping strangers. Just look. Look at how someone cooked up, cooked up a plan, a full plan, just cooked up something. You came to someone saying you are stranded and your plan was to get into his private space and seduce him. Then once you got him, once you got him, then you will build him. 
you tell him that you have to pay for what we just did. And if he doesn't pay, you know a shower vibe now. Then you start to scream, ah, you must pay. You don't go touch me, you don't go pay. You, mu you understand that kind of thing. And no, nobody wants such embarrassment. Anyway, so that's what I came to share with you guys. On my fair woman, this update bad. This is their format. This format bad. So you guys, just be careful out there. Okay? For now, we know the green here word. If I tell you, say, as a man, if you are not yet stable, stay away from women. You see, you could be friends with them, but I don't see why you are even chasing women when you don't have nothing going on for yourself. But now, we know the here word. This is the latest format to be careful out there when you are trying to help someone. This is the latest format. Before somebody go come to your house, talk say you you aram. I don't want to use the word because of Facebook guidelines. Before someone comes to your house and gives you big allegation that you will not be able to escape from, just be careful out there. Fear women. Share this video, guys, and do well to support this page by clicking on that follow button. Click on that follow button. I beg now, I beg. Share the video. Share the video.